Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. If you'll give me a moment here to achieve a pen and piece of paper, we're gonna do another random run today. I promise the uh, secret character stuff is coming. It'll be streamed eventually. I'm gonna random as usual. We Eve last run, and then okay, we're not gonna be Eve this run. We're gonna be Judas. Kate is right beside me right now, and she's eagerly awaiting the seed. Do you have Judas unlocked, Kate? No. She does not have Judas. Only Isaac. Only Isaac. Well, the seed, regardless, is Z T T T T T D one one. You got it. Z T T T T D one one. She's playing the. She's playing the Vita version across the room here. Oh my God! First item room is out of control. I don't even want to spoil the surprise there. I'm really happy to be Judas, and beyond being Judas, I am super happy to have gotten an All Stats upgrade in our first room. Not only is it an All Stats upgrade, but, uh, you know, on the Binding of Isaac subreddit, there is a uh, item discussion of the day. They're on, like, day 15 right now, and the other day they were discussing Capricorn. And I went in there, and I didn't say anything, but the top comment kind of echoed what I was thinking. It was like, it's an All Stats upgrade. What are you going to say? You're not going to take it? It's, like, one of the best category of items in the game, I think. Um, but what I, you know, I've always thought that all stats upgrades were just like, you know, plus X to all categories, but they all do have kind of differential effects, and apparently, uh, the general consensus is that Capricorn is the second best all stats upgrade behind Magic Mushroom because of the gains that it gives you to your damage and your, um, your fire rate, I think. Just a little bit of food for thought, not all stats upgrades are created equal. Um, I don't, I don't know beyond that. But I do know that I'm happy to take them no matter what they are. Like, I'm still happy to take the Halo, even if it's the worst all-stats upgrade. It's still an all-stats upgrade, right? Maybe that meta will change as I start to understand what's actually about. Plus, the other thing about Capricorn, you know, Magic Mushroom is wonderful, but Capricorn gives you the sweet-ass, like, little horns and the ball chin as well. I really like the, the ball chin. That might be a goatee, but I'm gonna choose to think that it's a ball chin. Now, we also have a lot of consumables. That rarely happens this early on in a, uh in a rebirth run. And with uh, Book of Belial, we're gonna get every single deal with the devil. So not only do we have this, ooh, that was really bad. Not only do we have this HP so that we can actually survive, but beyond survival, I can actually, uh, you know, parlay our uh, high damage upgrades into even higher damage upgrades. Please stop hiding behind the rocks because that is unfair bullshit and you are making me ornery. Not, you know, you gotta look up what ornery is if you don't know. You're gonna say, why does he have a big old boner because of this? Not true, not true. Unless your mother's asking. All right, well, let's fight our boss. Should be easy. Dingle. One of these days, I am going to have to do, uh, like, boss power rankings. I think the hardest boss on this area is the haunt, even though he's not impossible. After that, to be honest with you, this might sound crazy. I think you might even take Larry Jr. after that. Oh, I wonder if we can get nine cents here. Oh, a nickel is amongst them, so that should allow us to uh, get into our shop here. Maybe buy something early. Larry Jr., I don't think you're ever gonna, or very rarely are you gonna die against Larry Jr., but he can hit you sometimes with his weird twists and turns, and because you've gotta be, like, directly next to him to, to do anything, you know? Honestly, I think we just don't buy anything here. I'm you know what? I'm gonna go hard, and I'm gonna donate up to, uh, 700 cents. Because I wanna see if that gives us a new upgrade, and then we'll be free to use the rest of our money on this entire run. 700 cents, we got nothing. Uh, we're gonna... You know, it's, it class that as a victory. We're making progress there. I know I'm very, very slow with respect to that, but we got stuff to unlock. And, yeah, I'm not going to look for the second secret room. I'd rather get a Tinted Rock or something on the next floor, but that is a, a pretty good first floor, even if we do just use our money for donations. So there is a double key room that scares me a little bit. Uh, and a curse room, which, honestly, there's no, vis no uh, reason not to visit that curse room as soon as we get some extra HP, because we're going to be able to get a deal with the devil anyway, and we just got spiders, but that's alright, no reason to shoot the spiders. I don't think this has been patched yet, which means that there still should be, uh, unfortunately, an inability for us to bomb our way into special rooms, otherwise it's fairly likely we could bomb our way into that, uh, double key room, but that's okay. Second item room, Spelunker Sad. You know what? I'm for it. I dig it. This will allow us to, uh, get some of that money back that we donated, hopefully we'll be able to Donate a little more in the future. Extra keys. With this many keys, I've got to check this room. I really hope it doesn't re-roll our whole, our whole kitten caboodle, you know? That's a phrase I've not used in a long time. Ah, <sighs> did you get this, Kate? Not there yet. She's not there yet? I think I'm gonna do it just because it's early. What could go wrong, right? 
All right, so we got stem cells. Oh, snap. Um, we got Ipecac. We have not, I should have used Book of Belial before I did that, because now we might not get a deal with the devil. Um, I hate this room, by the way. Uh, but I love Ipecac. I, I think Ipecac is a, a really good item. Did we gain, we must have gained something else that I'm missing. Uh, because we had like one extra item beyond this. We got stem cells. We got uh, Ipecac. Wafer. Oh, snap. That's really good. And mysterious liquid. Okay. That's what I, I was like. Our shots are green, but they don't look like traditional Ipecac shots. That must be mysterious liquid at work. That's kind of confusing, but that's okay. It's all good. Okay, let's break some of these rocks here. Uh, there is a rock tinted over there. We can blow that up. I'd be a very happy camper. That's uh, spiders. Spiders are bad for business. That's just, you know, I'm not a small business owner, but that's my, uh, that's my expectation. I do hope we get a tinted, ro or not a tinted rocket, deal with the devil here. Oh, you know what? It, it, it actually goes, um, the haunt is the hardest, then I think, uh, gurglings are second hardest. That's my philosophy. Then maybe Larry Jr. I forgot about gurglings. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got some to think, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. Just a bunch of gibberish. Your motherfuckers act like they forgot about gurglings. Doesn't really make any sense. Um, we should go look for our second secret room because I would like to. Where where could it be? Well, we can get that extra money in there now. Maybe there is no second secret room on this floor because we've been to like all these special rooms, right? So, remember when we donated like all that money? We're gonna take it back because we have counterfeit penny. Which means that we should be able to take it back and like get a get a better payout. Um, this, I don't feel great about what I'm doing here, but at the same time, I, you know, let's take advantage of the fact that right now, we can blow up our donation machine. Because in the future, we won't be able to. Come on, work with me here. But, and we're not like, the, oh, come on. Come on, give me two cents instead of just the one cent. Alright, well, we'll try to donate some more back, but I want the compass for now. And we'll donate our six cents back. I know, I know, we went down like 18 cents below, but that did allow us to buy two items from the shop that are both very good. So now we can fly. We got, uh... We got Counterfeit Penny, which is okay. Spelunker's Head, uh, we might have lost Spelunker's Head because we went to our item room. That's why we can't see the secret room. We lost Spelunker's Head. Got it. Whoa, this room is fast. We get to deal with the devil. Um, Yes, we should take nine lives. Uh... I'm not going to take Demon Baby. You know what? I am going to take Demon Baby. I'll admit. I don't think Demon Baby's that good, but I don't think it's that terrible either. I was really hoping that that would be some consumables. This is, uh, you know, this is not your typical run. And I think I like it as a result of that. Sometimes, uh, I'm going to go back for that, obviously. Sometimes I think those, uh, those reroll rooms work out in your favor. Sometimes they work out uh, in the game's favor. I think this time, you could conceivably assume that they worked out in my favor. Please give me HP, though. I would desire it drastically. Um, well, I guess I should have been more specific, but that's okay. As for the other stuff that's happening on this run right now, are we going to be able to do Boss Rush Room? I think the answer to that question is probably. Uh, would I like to do Boss Rush Room? Depends on the item. Very much so. Oh, man, the Ipecac Poison wasn't enough to kill you? That is a bit of a surprise. Demon Baby's got the job here, yeah, I'm sure. All right, but you know this all being said we're in a very good position here even though our HP is god-awful Bad gas HP that's pretty awesome uh, I'm not too worried about filling up our red hearts just yet, but that it could all go terribly wrong. I like Ipecac a lot um, At least when you're solo, it's uh, a fairly easy and conceivable path to ultimate victory How does technology work with Ipecac? Incredibly Low rate of fire, but incredibly high amount of damage, it seems. Okay. So we'll keep this in mind. I'm interested to see how we do against the bosses. Uh, it's not so bad. I am, I'm very interested to see how we do against the bosses, because if we're one-shotting bosses, then this is incredible. If we're not one-shotting bosses, this is going to be slow as molasses. But we will be doing damage over time, so I am going to... Let's shoot the fire first. Just to keep myself a little safer. Open that up. A little extra money. With counterfeit penny, that could take us up to like 10, 11. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mega Maw. Appear to be energy resources. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm content with this damage. I don't think it's as good as it would be if we had just stuck with Ipecac. But I think it's it's crazy, and I like that. 
And we can hit multiple enemies at once, which we could with Ipecac, but this is a little easier. Uh, we get a Tears Up, which I think is... Whoa! Okay, that's awesome. I think we've made our life a lot better. I'm just going to head down to the next floor, and we'll start talking about donations and stuff over there. Um, this this is a wild... It's amazing how much uh, how much help one Tears Upgrade appeared to be. Does it F with our damage, though? Like, is our damage suddenly a lot worse? It might actually be. <laughs> Seems like that like reset our whole, our, all, like all of our stats. It's very weird. Uh, I don't know. We're still doing an awful lot of damage here, and I'm excited for the other synergies that we can get in the future. The moon, bad gas. Bad gas is not good. The moon is fine. We'll use it right now. Uh, the spirit heart is very nice. I can't complain in the least. So I'm thinking we go to our curse room here because with the amount of damage we're doing, I mean, you always want to become guppy if it's easy and isn't gonna kill you. But uh, with the amount of damage we're doing, like the guppy dream is is real here. The amount of damage our flies would be doing is nuts. And money has not been a problem for us thus far. I would love to also be able to, you know, donate back to the amount that we stole. Or at least the amount that we started with on this run. I think we're close to it. More keys. Can't really complain. That, you know, blue cap there is so weird. It's like... The, uh, the, the reroll room gave us, like, a synergy that can't possibly happen, and then when, uh, it did, like, a check of it when we picked up Blue Cap, it was like, wait a minute, your, your shit is all effed up. We gotta do something about that, and they did, unfortunately. I'm going to all the rooms, because why the heck not, right? Like, we're only 9 minutes and 40 seconds deep here, and we're already on the end of Catacombs 2. Well, not the end, but closing in on the end of Catacombs 2. Plenty of pretty much every form of consum consumable. The only thing is we don't have a guaranteed deal with the devil here. I would love to be able to go to a library and pick up Book of Belial again. It's, I mean, Book of Belial was already amongst the, the best space bar items in the game, I think, in vanilla. But in Rebirth, because of the guaranteed deal with the devil, it's so much better. I don't think that item needed a buff to be good, but I'm very happy that it has it, because it makes Judas a, a, a much more fun character, not that he was bad to begin with. So, yes, we will take uh, the blank card. And goodbye, counterfeit penny. I, I much prefer the Ace of Spades as well. And hopefully we'll be able to find something to work with this blank card. I think blank card is one of the cooler space bar items in the game, if you can get some sweet synergies. God damn you, Cypher, and God damn you, Curse of the Maze. I'm sorry that I'm not really giving you much uh, attention here, Demon Baby, but I prefer to stay as far away from these enemies as possible. So we picked up the Sun card, which combined with Blank card is just absurdly good. Unfortunately, it also means that, uh, you know, our um, Bob's Rotten Head item here is worthless. Thought I'd look for a second secret room. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, that's okay. So I'm going to use the Sun card uh, as, a, as a compass. Oh, we need to go up now. In the future, we can use it as full health if we have more HP and that seems sensical. We can use it as whatever we want, basically. We can even use it as, like, a Necronomicon at worst. So I should have been using it on some of these rooms, but it's not really that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things. And by that big of a deal, I mean not a big deal at all. Hierophant's still a better card, but this is pretty good. Alright, the wretched. Extremely easy boss. Especially with piercing shots, especially with high damage, and especially with, um... A high rate of fire, so the wretched's not going to be a problem. Please give me a deal with the devil so that I may improve our damage even further than it already is. Some enemies are eventually going to become annoying here. No deal with the devil, but another tears upgrade. Alright, well the fire rate is just stupid now. I like it. How's your run going, Kate? Not very good? What happened? Not good. Just not good, alright. Let's pop our sun card here, uh, and I mean, there's no reason not to go to like every single room. The fool card is such a tease right now, because I actually like this card if we have a chance to go to uh, the boss rush room, but we don't really have a chance, I mean we do have a chance to go to the boss rush room, and by chance I mean it's almost guaranteed. The problem is that I don't want to use the fool card because we have to get rid of the sun card, but if we can get like a starter deck or something like that, that would be cool. For now, though, this is the floor where I'm really hinging uh, a lot of the guppy hopes and dreams. We also have a dice room, as I'm sure uh, you've well noticed. This is, I'm super excited for this, because greed is good. Greed is here, and slowed, which means those shots aren't going to hit me even when I make stupid dodges, like, directly in front of him. Uh, we should be able to donate as much as is humanly possible, and we know our shop's going to have an item. 
Speed down, probably not something that's uh, too high on my to-do list right now. Easy enough. Uh, we, you know, I know that we should probably save a key. I really want to check out that room, though. Even though I do know it's a dice room. Oh, come on. Well, these are usually worth it. Uh, uh mm, okay, I'm glad I opened it. It didn't turn out that well. We may gained a couple cents. Amnesia sucks. Health up is really good. Alright, let's live a little. It's a three room. Rerolls those consumables. Um, it was not worth two keys. That's okay. I couldn't open the golden chest anyway. I couldn't open both of the golden chests anyway. What is up with that? Come on now. Alright, well we need more keys. So we'll try to go to our shop first. Gonna use our sun on uh, every room that we are able to use it on. Which is once every four rooms. Might as well. Since we know that uh, we are not going to have greed in our shop, because we already fought greed, my hunch is that the best way to use uh, our key is to use it to get into the shop, assuming we don't get another key before that time. And as a result... Oh, there's a fast room here. Uh, and as a result, we could buy a key on the shop, and an item, or donate. Want to keep our sun. Empress card's good. Not good enough to get rid of the sun card for, though. I gotta be honest, I'm digging the tears upgrades, but I would kill for a damage upgrade at this point. This is another room where it would be amazing if we could actually have a uh, have a blank card charged up. That's all right though. Doesn't all, you can't always get what you want, but if you try, sometimes you might get what you. Good day to your partner. I'm Geed. I can already tell I'll be your only friend in this godforsaken place. Red chest, guppy item. Bam! Didn't work. That's all right. It happens. All right, all right. Let's sell uh, oh, two keys. This one wants to buy you flowers. Just go ahead now. Uh, this other one wants to talk for hours or something. Just go ahead now. Where's our... I just bolus. Not bolus. That's like chewed up food in your stomach. Not Jan Bulis. He was a former uh, right winger for the Montreal Canadiens. Um, not goulash. That's a Hungarian paprika based soup slash stew. Not soulless. That is a, a mage from Dragon Age Inquisition. Lazarus' rags. I don't like this item so much in our current situation. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. We're gonna we're gonna give away 18 cents, or wait till the donation machine stops. Okay. Then we're gonna buy this. It's remote detonator. We we paid 15 cents for five bombs. It's not terrible, but it's not ideal, of course. That yeah, the shop ended up being pretty good. I picked up another key just to ensure that we can do the same thing on the next floor. We did slow down on this floor a little bit, but we shouldn't be in any trouble uh, for. Still getting to the boss rush room if we want to. Flying plus basically penetrative tier is pretty good for the boss rush room as well. If we decide to actually uh, go for it. Which we may or may not. You know what items I would love to see now? Uh, I would love to see Tiny Planet. If for no other reason than like the cool visual effect that it gives you. Uh, I would love to see... Obviously all stats upgrades or damage upgrades. Polyphemus, Cricket's Head, etc, etc. Um... I would love to see Eve's Mascara. If we could get Eve's Mascara, that would be great as well. Oh, that was bad damage. Uh, Eve's Mascara would be would be awesome. I believe that Eve's Mascara doubles your shot damage while having the rate of fire. So it's really like it's it's win-win. Sorry, not rate of fire, uh, speed, like the physical velocity of your actual tier. Um, so it's basically win-win if you have a shot that travels instantly, which we, for all intents and purposes, do. Mom's lipstick, uh, meaningless, but we can't reroll it anyway. And a one heart deal with the devil we're gonna take could be a guppy item. Headless baby is not a guppy item, but it's not bad. I'm I'm okay to have it. Let's head down to the next floor, and if we need to make some concessions on some rooms in order to get to the uh, the boss room, then we can. Uh, we already have the compass, but it's still nice to be able to see where we're going. Okay, let's take a look. 16 minutes. I think we got time. So I'm gonna come in here quickly, and I'm gonna say. You know, do one of these, one of these. We're going to take our money and run. We may return. I'm hoping for red chests in here. They're not red chests, so we're not going to go through with it right now. Uh, I am going to take my opportunity to... I should have used the sun card on this room, because we haven't had any combat, and it would have given me um, an, a, a free room here, basically. That's me being a bit of a ding-dong, but it's okay. I was excited to get the compass effect. Ooh, what's this, Joker? Two of diamonds. We'll just pop that. I'm not going to worry about cheesing out any kind of donation. Or not donations, but money doubling with it. I figured we'd come back here. I think we have time. 
Eh, it looks alright. So we'll go to fight our mini boss, hopefully get like poison touch. Ah, uh, we got a pill. The pill is amnesia. That is bad, but we did pick up a key in the process. That is slightly less bad, but also not that incredible. Throw down a bomb here. Just so we're ready to go to the secret room. Oh, we also got a rune out of it. It's Degaz, which. Okay, so here's the deal. Like, this might be better than the sun in some ways, but I think it's better to just take our spirit heart and then roll with the compass and map effect in the future. But it is it's a bit questionable. You could, you could play it either way. Getting one Spirit Heart every four rooms is also pretty good. Just like a, a better Book of Revelations minus the other, you know, interstitial effects. Red Chess. Oh, come on. I don't think Guppy's meant to be here, unfortunately. Unless it, yeah, unless it happened right there. And it didn't. The Devil card is good, but is it good enough to get rid of the sun? I don't think so. So we'll be moving on again. And we do have the sun card available. Might just save it for the, the boss fights. Or the boss rush if we end up even taking it. It would have to be a pretty good item to convince me to even go through the boss rush room, but it could happen. Forget Me Now is not that item, by the way. But I'm not going to take it because there's a chance if it shows up later that I might want to. I don't know. It's a bit of a convoluted situation. Forget Me Now is not just like redo the whole floor. I know what you're thinking, by the way. Use Forget Me Now on the boss rush room. And then you can, uh, you know, just skip the room and then go down to the floor again. We'll buy a hive mind here just in case we become guppy and because we don't have anything else to do with our money. I'm not going to pay 15 cents for a tarot card. I think we're just going to go. Yeah, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna bother with that BS. With, like, using Forget Me Now to steal an item from the boss rush room. Because I, I think blank card plus the sun is good enough for us to be, you know, happy with and, and roll on it in the future. I will say that, um... That uh, the sun might not be as good as the, the purity rune. You know, one spirit heart every four runes. It also purges your curses. But that's a relatively minute effect, usually. Um, but I don't know. The, the, it w what would have been the best is if we could get starter deck. And then we could carry that. Uh, we could carry the sun. And as soon as we got down to a floor, use it for the map plus compass effect. And then... Uh, Switch to the purity rune from that point onwards and get spirit hearts back. But we don't have starter deck, so that's okay. Starter deck plus blank card seems like a really, really good combination. Obviously. I I should not have stood there. Let's just be honest. So we're going to be heading down to the, the chest, ideally. And we got the Polaroid. Loki's... Okay, none of these are good enough, unfortunately. As much as I would love to, people really like Loki's horns. Crystal Ball is the only other one that's like even debatable here. Um, people really like Loki's horns. I think they overrate it because of the visual effect. So it makes you shoot shots in four directions. With almost every item in the game, uh, ev like every tier effect in the game, my hunch is that this is actually kind of terrible. Because you're never shooting at things that are behind you. Or you're rarely trying to shoot at things that are behind you. I don't see any tinted rocks here. Just, just my hunch, but, uh, we are going the right way here, which is great. You know, in a sense, why not take the battery with us, right? We don't need it just yet, but you never know. Yeah, yeah, clears out this room, saves us some trouble. Maybe a battery in here? No, that would be a little bit too much of wishful thinking, I guess. We might not have to attack, like, nearly anything on this floor. So what are we hoping for on, hoping floor? What are we hoping for on this floor? Uh, we're hoping for basically a deal with the devil. If we could fight the fallen and get a deal with the devil, that would be incredible. I uh, well, we don't have a big boss, so it won't be Mr. Fred or like Double Gertie or anything like that. Very fast floor. Could be Krampus. If we got uh, if we got a lump of coal, I would take it. Krampus's head. We can't afford to get rid of the. Ah, uh, we might be able to afford to get. I don't know. It's it's a, it's not a tough decision. It's just it, I doubt the decision is going to matter that much. All right. Well, Double Loki is like perfect for us, especially when they say like completely parallel with one another it makes my life very easy now they've wisened up well no maybe they haven't i can't believe that i got hit by a slowed loki slowed loki by the way is uh it's my uh my drink of choice try what's a slow drink it's molasses plus four loco it's really 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 gross and bad for you okay so we get uh magic scab for damage oh hp plus luck and we are going to be fighting Krampus, unfortunately. Like, Lump of Coal, I, my hunch 
is that it does one of two things for us here. Nothing or a flat damage bonus that could actually be really nice. I know Lump of Coal plus Brimstone is a plus two damage bonus in vanilla, which is incredible. I don't know if Lump of Coal does anything for technology. And this is a bad time to pay the Krampus tax, but hey, this could be good. Jera rune. Per throw. Oh, it's a reroll. <laughs> well, we could we could effectively have a D6 here if we wanted to, but the D6 is kind of past the point of usefulness at this point of the game anyway. What happened, Kate? My face is glitching that I'm gone. Your, like, I don't see my face. Your face is... What'd you pick up? Just, the, the floor didn't lo load well. Oh, there's like a, a Vita glitch or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Way to go, guys. You ruined it. Ruined it again, Edmund. This is the wrong way to go. Jera rune? Oh, okay. So we can say no to our sun card here, uh, and hopefully we'll get some more some more keys because the Jera rune actually allows us to um, double all consumables that drop in a room. So we we don't really have a good reason to use it right now, unless we can get into that uh, boss trap room. And if we can get into that boss trap room and there's like three red chests, we can just double the shit out of them. Um, but my hope is to use this on the chest. Maybe we'll get like a skeleton key or something in the process. Jero rune spoken. Class today. Health up. Why not? It's question marks. That's really good. Health down. Not so excited about that one. Alright, so let's make our way up here and um... This actually is like... Oh, that was bad. This actually could be an incredible uh, pickup for us. This could allow us to have an extraordinary... Mm, we'll save that for now. This could allow us to have an extraordinary amount of... Uh, of, uh, of golden chests. If we have the keys necessary to actually get advantage out of them. But, uh, yeah, we'll save that too. Ooh, this is great. Okay. I think you can get two plays out of it, but I kind of prefer this because I want to I wanna have some money left over. I forgot we have the wafer, by the way, so we can go pretty deep on this. Ah, poison touch. Not really what we want, but that's okay. And we'll have this fine young gentleman over here pay out with something, hopefully. I suppose we could have doubled what he dropped. I mean, it's going to take me a while to get in the habit of that. Even though there is a key beggar here, I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to play the key beggar, even though we're getting a lot of keys, because I might need 16 keys to open all the golden chests that I get, right? I'm not trying to brag, I'm just saying that might be how this ends up working out. The bombs are nice, but kind of less meaningful than anything else at this point. I'm excited because this is my... Yeah, we'll do that. This is my first time having the Jera rune uh, this late in the game. Hey, was. I think it can give us a black market, so I'm just going to try to like use it here. Just remember to don't go in it by accident. That is not... That's going to take us down to Shoal. There's no ladder. That's how you can tell. If there's a ladder, you can safely go in and come back up because it's a black market. If there's not, well, you're screwed. All right. Make sure we got this. Okay, we can't... <laughs> I try to be a little cheeky, but our speed's too low to go back and forth between those blood banks. And if we play them now, we will take uh, black heart damage, which I don't want to do. Like, we'll lose our black heart. All right, all right, okay. Let's go down into our uh, mob trap room here. It's not like we can store Jera rune charges, so if we can double things, we might as well double them right now. It's one red chest. Double it up, baby. That's two red chests. We're gonna go get another charge and double it again. And this could actually allow us to become guppy here and give us a little, a brief teaser, if you will, of what can happen with the Jera rune once we actually make it down to the chest. I'm very excited to see what may uh, result as a result of this result. Joker? Two of diamonds. I, why not use it, right? Money situation, sorted forever. Well, I'm excited that we've got something very interesting happening on this run. I mean, it's been a weird run. in a, I mean, in a positive way, it's been a weird run. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a cool place, but they say it gets colder. Bundled up now, wait till you get older, because the media men beg to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. What I'm getting at is that, it, you know, sure, it's weird now, it's going to be weird later. Smash Mouth, man. Smash Mouth. What, what, what else can I say? What a great name for a band that is, like, completely unoffensive in almost every way. Smash Mouth. Why Smash? They're, they're, you're playing kids' birthday parties, your band's called Smash Mouth? Double it again. If we can get eight here, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get 16. So, if we can just get 8 here, that would be lovely. And then we'll open that up. Um, I would prefer to use a bomb here. 
just so we can skip the big, well, we can't skip the big room, but we can skip those extra rooms that we don't need to go to. I will use the sun card before we leave the floor, but we're going to stick with the Jera rune. It's just too strong. Now, we're going to have eight red chests. We need two guppy items. I still think our odds of that working out for us are pretty bad. Ah, uh, we don't really want broken oc. Um, like, I think our odds of getting a guppy item in that situation is not very good. Or getting two guppy items, I should say. Also, I believe that the Jera rune just doubles whatever is... It, like, it doubles the value of the chest as well, usually. Maybe I'm thinking of a contract from below, though. So I think that if there was like, if there were two spirit hearts in one red chest and we doubled it, then there would be two spirit hearts in the next red chest. Like the, the one that we got as a result of it. I might be mistaken in that though. You know what, I know, I know. But I'm gonna go f fight the extra room here. I know we could just fight the boss and get the charge, but... It's alright. Alright, so, oh, and then we're gonna do this room because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's okay though. We got a nickel out of it that is not gonna benefit us at all. Might as well pick this up. And uh, double it again. So now we got eight red chests in here. Let's open one. We got the same two pills we've gotten in like every red chest that had pills in it since the start of the game. And I'm, you gotta admit, I'm taking a little bit more damage than I would expect or you would expect uh, as a result. Oh my God. Please tell me some of those are at least health upgrades. Um, taking a little bit more damage than I would expect. Oh my god, they, they all have exactly the same outcome! It's it's amnesia and bad gas! I don't need 15 amnesia bad gas pills, game! We replicated it, we made a terrible mistake! Cue Numi Rapus from... Numi Rapace? I can't remember. From Prometheus. We were so wrong! This is not where I want to be. I will say though... Oh, Chubb, you are in for a, a gassy time. Prepare yourself. Are you just immune to it at this point? Have you built up the antibodies required to not take damage from my farts anymore? This was a terrible mistake. But we got a red heart. <laughs> yeah, that was... Well, now we know, okay? And that's... Knowing is half the battle, I've heard. So we're... We, we don't want to skip the boss fight, unfortunately. We're gonna gamble a little deep here. And, uh, and we're gonna blow up this gentleman here because the, the chests will work for us. I'm very confident of that fact. Pop our chariot card. The money is worthless, but you know, I might as well go hard on the blood bag because we could actually get two blood bags out of this. We have that sun card that we don't care about and we've got the wafer so we can double up basically. Uh, Ace of spades with blank card I still think is a lot better than, um, than child's heart. I still think this is worth a shot, and we're gonna blow it up. Because even after the sun card, I'd rather just stay at full health, basically. All right, so let's go. Ooh, almost went down to shoal there. That would have been bad. Uh, let's let's get the sun card, and we'll use it up. Ten lives, I'll admit. Why do we have ten lives? Oh, yeah, nine lives and Lazarus's rags. Got it. The uh, the D6 rooms, like the rooms that reroll all your stuff, they don't actually reroll guppy items, which is an interesting quirk. That if you're not aware of, can can trip you up a little bit like a Jesus and Mary Chain song. Yeah, that was uh, bad damage. I will accept it. I don't know why my bomb got sent away there. Thank you, Demon Baby. I appreciate the extra damage there. Still trying to kick a bomb in whenever possible. Might be some people who prefer to play this a little faster and quote unquote looser. You know, maybe, uh, like, don't put, uh, don't pick up the HP so that you can stay at a half hard interval and get the permanent Polaroid invincibility. That's a little too risky for my taste right now. I really think that as a result of this Jera rune and the items that we already have, including the wafer especially, um, a win is possible. But with, like, 16 red chests, a win could be, like, awesome. <laughs> or 32 red chests, but, you know, let, let's start with 8, sorry, not red chests, golden chests. Let's start with 8 golden chests, because we only have 9 keys right now. That was a, a really bad little bit of damage at the end there. It's okay, though. Tomo? What's up, buddy? You want to play the seed too, Tomo? You don't have thumbs, though. It's going to be pretty tricky. You might be almost as bad as I am. I beat mom already. You beat mom? All right, that's the end for you, right? You don't have any more unlocked. Congratulations, Kate. 
Did you get the, the, the reroll room? So you just had to do like... You just did like a normal run. How was it? Now I'm... I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear it. Congrats. I've got some ridiculous shit happening over here. I have blank card. I don't know if you've been listening. I have, I have blank card plus the rune that doubles all the drops. So I'm just gonna double all the red chests that drop on the chest. And, or, all the, sorry, all the golden chests. I'm, I'm so used to having the left hand, I'm like, I'm probably not gonna remember. It's all right. I have, I have Ace of Spades right now. I think today was the day that I uploaded three episodes, and in all three of them, I forgot to drop the left hand. And I was just like, well, that's the end of my YouTube quote-unquote career. It's been good while it lasted. Um, we're doing no damage here, which, which is why I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive about pumping these bad boys in here. Pumpers like to pump. Pumpers need to pump. Like, we're, we're doing not very much damage at all. And I keep taking damage, and the freaking cats... The fur is all over my face right now. Okay, we have to, we're not, this run, we have to stay alive. Not, oh my god, not for us, but for, for you out there in, in uh, TV land. Because I want you to see the Jera rune in action here. Are you seeing these fucking homing shots that he's throwing out here? Oh my god, the facial itches. We have the wafer. There is no excuse to die to Isaac here. Focus. Oh, you know what I'm getting hit by? Is, oh, well, first off, just dumb damage, but also... The occasional, like, weird cricket shot. Yeah, that, that ricochets. Oh my god, I'm... You know, okay, I'll be the first to tell you. I'm not playing very well right now, at all. But at the same time, I have to say, like, fuck you game a little bit. Because every time I could take damage in a slightly questionable situation, I am taking damage in that situation. Like, I've caught no breaks. No breaks thus far. The good news is, this is the easier part of the Isaac fight. And if we can just keep ourselves reasonably safe and reasonably sane, we should be fine. It might be a little tedious here. That's our... Oh, don't get hit twice. We will have a brief period of permanent Polaroid invincibility. I also should not have been standing there. Come on, dude. Compared to... I thought we were doing so much more damage than we actually are. We got nothing here. At least, if we didn't have the wafer, we would have died the most terrible death. And I would be very sad, and I'm sure people watching would be very sad as well. Now we have to make a decision, though. Because we're doing such shitty damage, we might only want to use the Jera rune once. But there will be some chests that we won't be able to open if we use it. No, if we use it twice, there would be. And then we could always double them and open them when we had keys later. I don't know. It's a little bit of a tough situation. Uh, it, it depends on the rooms. I really don't want to die trying to get a second doubling, but let's start here. We're going to double it once. I think we're going to try to double it twice before we get up to any stuff. So let's, um, I think it's one of those situations where we're a lot better against the, the rooms that precede the bosses than against the bosses themselves. And if we play it slow, you know, we have the wafer. We can afford to get hit a few times. And if we play it slow and we kill the, the proper enemies here... Oh my god, the cat fur is out of control. Oh, it's triggering an immune response. Feels like I just swallowed a handful of uncooked rice. It's okay. We're going to be fine. This is what Isaac's all about. Triumphing over adversity. It's all good. He's dead. That could be an interesting card. Two of hearts? Two of clubs? What am I going to do with that? 48 hour energy. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, 48 hour energy. Double it, baby. And we're going to come back here. We're going to pick up this battery and we're going to say D -d 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 double it. And then we're going to come back here. We're going to pick up this battery and we're going to say double it. Okay. Who is your oh god? god? Who is your god now? <laughs> I opened one of them by accident. Okay, Samson's Chains. I mean, we'll take it. Let's just start, you know. Oh, Death's Touch. Okay. Does this even work with technology? No, but maybe it's a damage upgrade at least. Ouija board, why not? Technology 2, I don't even know what the fuck this does now. Seems pretty sweet though. Um, Taurus. Virgo, that's what I meant to say. Uh, Bloody Lust, holy crap, okay. Skeleton key. <laughs> Blue baby's only friend, that's pretty good, this is Christmas. 
Uh, oh, that balance, Libra balances all our stats, right? So I should have like crazy good damage right now. I don't know, that seems pretty cool. And, oh, snap, Midas Touch. If we could ever get Invincibility, this would be awesome. All right, so I don't know, man. We're gonna use two of clubs right away. I think, is our damage better? It seems not so much better. Then again, we did pick up like five different items that could completely change how our damage would even be calculated, I think. I am stoked to have Blue Baby's only friend. We have six more keys? Oh, that was Libra. I didn't even notice. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll go open six more golden chests in a second here. I don't think there's any more reason to double it. Come on, we're not going to get like 40 keys, probably. So let's come back. Here we got six more. Thank you for clearing them out. Leech, that might be very useful for lifesteal right now. Uh, chocolate milk. And uh, that that is full HP, basically. Spoon bender, no question. Uh, that's Robo Baby 2.0 and Judas's Shadow. So yeah, we'll take Judas's Shadow. We'll take Robo Baby 2.0. We'll take the HP. And I believe the Chocolate Milk Plus Technology 2 used to break the game. So I'm going to pick it up because it could be funny. It seems to not break the game anymore. And oh, okay, our damage is like legitimate now. Yeah, we're, we're doing some work. This feels a lot better. Oh my god, we got another 48 hour energy. <laughs> okay, so how do... I could use this for absurdity's sake to crack open a bunch of chests, or like to just to make a bunch of chests. But what I'm actually hoping is that we get a key drop, or you know, more key drops, and then I won't pick up the key, and I'll use it to, to quadruple the key, and like maybe even more as time goes on. Okay, this is good. Free item. Mom's knife. Okay, don't mind if I do. Don't mind. Don't mind if I do. This is Christmas, Christmas time. Let's do. Time for joy and time for cheer. Oh, I almost picked it up. We're not going to pick it up, though. You know what we're going to do. You know what we're going to do. Jerarune. That ain't Falco. Double it, baby. That's two keys. Come back here. 48-hour energy. Oh, my God. Is he going to do it? Don't stop. Those keys have a family. Ah. <laughs> I didn't have the Jerarune in my possession when I did that. Let's go back and get that. I made, a, I made a small mistake. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to pick this up. We're going to double it again. That's four keys. We could have had eight. I'm a, I just cost myself one chest full of items there. But it's okay. It's okay. Because we just got unknown, which actually allows us to do chests over and over and over and over. This ride don't stop, motherfuckers. Get ready. The dream is real. Mr. Mega, I don't care about you at all, dog. I gotta get some more keys before we start doing multiple chests, though, because I can't, I can't open. <laughs> okay, the only, the only way unknown is going to work for us is actually if we get a little bit lucky. I'll admit, we gotta get a little bit lucky. We gotta get the error room on the first crack, but it's like a one in three chance. Or we could start using it right away, but again, I want to have the keys to open everything here. We have gone from like a maybe win to like the most incredible win we've ever had. So that's sweet. I'm pretty excited about that. This is why I was I was stoked for the Jera rune, man, and these 48 hour energies are not hurting either. I just poisoned the fucking ground when I walked in here. Man, this ain't my dad. This is a cell phone. I, then I, I threw it on the ground after that. All right, so we should get a spirit heart here, which is effectively meaningless. This, oh, no spirit heart. That's okay, though. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this bullshit room. I can't... There's like 50 golden chests still remaining in there. I can't do anything about that. You got a homing knives, homing lasers of, of both variety. All right. We're going to double it again. What do you think? Do you want to just open 16... Chests there. It's a shame we can't take two space bar items down with us. I don't think I should go for 16 chests, man. I don't think I should tap out yet. I think I should go for 32. I'm gonna go for 32. Who's with me? Oh, this is gonna be a beautiful day. Part the fucking Red Sea so we can get in here. We'll just take that one. 33 keys now. Yeah, we don't, we're not gonna use another key room for Jera runes. Pretty sweet. I thought that would be a free guppy item. 
We this is a weird situation. We may have to fight. You know what? Oh, rotten baby. We may have to fight blue baby to get a reroll to use on our keys. Why would we even want our keys if we're not going to fight blue baby? Because we have unknown, which could allow us to go to multiple chests. So just remember, don't go into the chest after you beat blue baby. It's going to be tempting. You're going to be like, "Oh, I won. I won." No, we're not going to do that. Okay? We're not going out like that. We're going to fight Blue Baby just to get some fuel for the next chest. Oh, this is so much better than that Isaac fight that nearly killed us and made me feel really bad about my abilities in this video game that I spent my whole life playing. Alright, so you're dead. Thanks for the HP. Don't you want to go down? You won the game? Absolutely not. I want to get on, Mr. Bones Wild Ride. J -j 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 rune Oh, it's beautiful. It's too beautiful. Oh, it sounds like we're on Rainbow Fucking Road. The coins are real. That's 32, baby. 32 keys. Maybe we get like some 48 hour energy bullshit out of like a 9 volt out of one of these. Here we go. Keep track. Why not? Hey, Dr. Fetus, let's take everything now. Mystery sack. Count it. Sacrificial dagger, BFF, and a sissy long legs. Count it. We just got the uh, Leo. And Lemon Mishap. Lemon Mishap a little less excited about. Mom's wig. Count it. What is this? Harlequin Baby. Book of Secrets. You suck. Magic Fingers. Not so good. Book of Revelations. Okay. Are there any items we have not picked up? Oh, Fire Mine. There we go. 18 keys left. Proptosis. It's too good. Smart Fly. I like this. Dry Baby. I like this. Juicy Sack. I like this. Bob's brain. Welcome to the party, buddy. Okay, we're gonna clear out some of these chests. Okay, we got a little simpler now. Another revenge flyer. This one's not revenge flyer, you know what I mean. Little Brimstone. How's it going, my friend? The Shears. You're pretty good. Magic uh, Feather, or Crag the Sky. Eight keys left. Nearsighted Friend. Celtic Cross. D20. Too bad to be there's no D6 yet. Little Haunts. Dark Bum. Big fan, two keys left. We got Luckfoot and my best friend, or punching bag, sorry. Look at this, oh my god. This is absurd. The stats, man. Okay, so now we go back. If there is a god, un undefined will take us to... What if we use the Jera rune here? Do we get another item? Do we get, like, two of each of these items? We should try it back here just to see if we can get, like, Skeleton Key or something. So this is the end of our Jera rune. But it had to be done. Oh, it just it just gives us more chests that can't be opened. Oh, man, a Golden Key would have been so good here. Okay, 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 okay. Everyone, put your hands together. Oh, it's that's just the secret room. Give me a Golden Key. Give me a Golden Key! It's not fair! Well, I guess we're gonna leave. But this has been a glorious run. I had a great time. I hope you did as well. I wish there was still an enemy left that we could hit them and, you know, just end it. By the way, if you, and people are going to be saying, like, kill yourself and Blue Baby comes back. We tried this before. It doesn't, unfortunately. But thanks for watching. I hope you had as fun of a time on that run as I did. Jera plus blank card, pretty solid. Of course, remember to subscribe if you enjoy the videos and want to see more in the future. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed this one in particular. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.